Okay. I'm recording, right? All right. So I'm recording. We're going to talk about uh, how to bring C2D file from, over, from our CAD lab into MATLAB and then using OpenSIM to calculate muscle forces, joint moments, etc. So we have written quite a lot of um, um, codes for that based on Stanford University's um, uh, detail that they have my code or scripts. I'll put them all here on my GitHub. So if you go to GitHub and then to to my tutorial here. Sorry, you you want to show your screen again? You, okay, I should in two. Yes, can you see that? Okay. Yep. Yes. Okay, so it's recording now. Perfect. So here is here is my GitHub HMOK. If you go there, we have a Karen uh, category, and then in Karen we have OpenSIM, and we have Python. Python is we still work on it, but the MATLAB version is almost there. So we have all the files in M files. So I'll, I'll keep updating them. So there's there's quite a lot of M files here, MATLAB files. You can actually, you need to download them and put them in a place and, and add the path to your MATLAB, MATLAB. So I'll show you later. So the whole idea is this. So as you can see here, the roadmap, basically. You want to analyze and then process, then process it. So the CTD file that we get from, from the lab, then we, we, we need to change this or import this as TRC or motion files. TRC are traces or marker data. Motion is the ground reaction forces, for instance. So from the TRC, we can get other, other information. Also, we can get from, from motion file as well, from ground reaction force as well. So usually what we do, we, we bring the C2D file, we basically these two files, input them into a generic model in OpenSIM, scale the model based, based on the markers that we, we, we have in TRC file. Um, then we can do inverse kinematic, inverse dynamic, static optimization, and so many other basically um, analysis, okay? We have also a dflow file. So if I show you here, when we have, for instance, we have like a target search study, then I put every single person in this, like you should do this, every single person in this type of each, each folder for one person. Then uh, what you need to do is just, you need to bring CTD files. So if you go to C2D file for like a folder, you can see we have all the C2D files that we have with their names. So we don't need to so have a meaningful name for them. So that's because we use this name for the rest of the analysis. So you, as you know, you can actually visualize them using Mocha. Mocha is this. You can easily download it from here. If you type Mocha Biomechanics, you can easily download this and use it here, download. So it's similar to Nexus, but you can do uh, easy visualizations here. What you need to do, you can bring uh, any C2D file, so you can just drag and drop it. Then you have the information here, you can actually drag, drop, this, you have different, you know, motion, etc. These are the markers, for instance, even the force plates. You can see different different directions. Here is then analog, so you can actually change them. So analog would be similar to, let's say, uh, for instance, EEG or EMG type of, like this, these type of sensors, okay? EMG type of things or this type, of, okay? So you can use, um, you can do all sort of, you know, you can delete them like that. All right, even if you click on any of these, so you'll see and start it, you can see that the motion or the pattern like that. So you click here, you can see the patterns. You can actually see if there is something missing or not missing, you know, you can basically visualize and understand your, your, your um, experiment or trial, all right? If you, ha you, you, you see that there's something missing or is not properly, um, what's it called, named, you should you should be able to understand what it is and make sure that that's part of this is part of this marker set or if not you can delete that okay if it is something that the system has picked up or the Wicon system has picked up okay 
what else? So have a look at all these tools here. You can do some analog or like a, a sort of small thing. So what I what I suggest is don't do it here. Don't. Uh, what I basically use is I use the very raw data from um, Icon and then do all the manipulations, all the filtering and etc. Because I don't want to do anything in advance and then bring it into OpenSIM. Okay. So that's it. Um, so the whole idea, as I said, imagine I'm assuming that you got your data from OpenSIM and you have the C2D files, okay? So I'll go and talk about your own Chapman uh, stuff. So I think yours is here, all the data, okay? Is that right? Yes. So these are the data, okay? So what I would do, so each person is has a folder, right? Then what I would do is I'll delete everything here to just show you what's happening, okay? <coughs> oh, sorry, maybe I shouldn't have deleted one of them. Uh, why? Okay. Anyway, so well, I'll bring it back, but anyway. So we have all the CTD files, okay? So you, what you need to do is just create one, one folder, CT file, and put them all here. Then go to your MATLAB and copy everything that we have on the GitHub here. Bring all the M files that you can download it from here. Okay. Then you can download it from, how can you download it? Uh, where was it? Go to file. Da, 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 da. I think you can, you can, you should be able to. Do you remember how we can download it easily? No. How did you do that? Did you download them all? Uh, no, I just copied uh, the first code. And one pasted by one? It. Yeah. No, I, no, I just uh, went through the first. Oh, the first one. Because okay. I but think I... the first. Uh, I because believe you the can have all the functions in everything. Right, right. You can download it from here, probably. Yes. So when you download that and bring it into OpenSIM, bring it into MATLAB. So you have MATLAB and you have all the files here. Okay. And this is part of the path, basically set the path. I think the set the path is here. So if you click on that, so make sure that you add you add the folder with subfolder of that. Okay. okay. So you have all these folders. All right. Then uh, one of the the critical ones is is here. So let me bring this. <coughs> Project targets. And then yeah, I usually put them to remind me to send you this one. This is like a header. It runs everything, okay? So this is just for my own stuff, but you guys can can actually manipulate it. So you just bring the the trials, the name of those sorry, those trials, and then when you have that, so you just read through the trials, and at, in the meantime you add the you remember the MATLAB functions, all right, and just provide the destination, okay, the overall destination, which means, for instance. The files for you were here, okay, here. So you just provide this destination, okay, where the CTD files are, okay. So let me show you that. For instance, if I, where was it? Yeah, if I just bring this, so I'm recreating that one. <laughs> And if I say the trials, the trials would be BG1. Is that right? It was BG1, I guess, the first one. Yeah. So, and then the code were here. The codes were here. So I just changed this one as well. All right. Mm -hmm. Then the destination was here. Destination was basically this one. 
destination. I'm going to change it here. Okay. But just because you have done the trials number trials, just remove this, the last part. Okay. So you just need to give it uh, exactly where, where the destination is. Okay. Does it make sense? Yeah. So let's, let's have a look again. So basically you, you have the files, every single person, what you need to do, just take, for instance, from this, just take all the files, C2D files, you can see C2D files, and it's then, BG2. sorry, say it again. This is BG2. Yeah, I'm just like yeah. showing what to do with, okay. you know. Okay. So then, then, then go to that folder here, create, the only thing that you need to do is the C3D files, okay? Mm -hmm. Then copy all the C2D files here. Okay. Make sense? Yes. So that's that's the only thing that you need to do. For instance, go let's go to the B, to BG2, BG1. So what I've done, I've created all these C2D files here. Okay. okay. And and I provided I provided the trials. I'm just looking at the first person. And because you can you can add, right? You can add any other person. Okay. Uh, then I changed where the path is, the codes are, where the destination is, which is basically the one before BG1, you know, and that's it, okay? So when, you, when I run it, so I wanna show you what's happening here. So I'm going through this, and I'm going through um, what run OpenSIM does, it brings um, all the CTG files into TRC and motion file, okay? And so I'll show you, if you look, if I open this one, so you'll see, this run open sim, it gets the directory, filtration, cutoff and order, you'll learn as you go. Then the outcome would be, the outcome would be using the C2D export loop. So brings brings all the C2Ds, we can go into this function as well. Uh, yep, this one, okay. So C2D, so it gets the file and filtration and at the end it brings it saves, let me see, the table um, function table here. It writes, it writes the forces as well as the, as well as the TRC files, okay? Does it make sense? Yes. So there's a lot of detail here, but don't worry about it at this stage. So I'll finish this, I'll click this as well. So what I did, you remember there are millions of things happening, but I just changed two things, right? Yes. And the name. And when I run this, what's happening here, it actually gets the name of that particular, you know, C2D and it starts basically doing the, doing all the com conversion from Lycan system all the way to OpenSIM, okay? So basically it's marker forces and it takes time, this one, of course. But I just made it one, so I, I, I don't want to go through all of them. It takes time. But I just made it one. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Where, where the run open sim is. When I open that, probably I can't because it's, it's busy running. Okay, does, does it make sense? Yes, yes. It's, this is easy. Now, basically, if you go and start playing around with these functions, you can actually bring all your C2D files to... And where does it save to our C2D? I'll show you now. I'll show you now. So you remember I had just, I had only in this BG fun, I just had C2D files. Oh, uh, yeah. But you can see all other things created here. So basically everything created and everything is being written there. Okay, good. So the mm -hmm. TRC files, TRC files here, ground reaction forces here, you know? Yes. And the rest, in coming weeks, we'll, we'll talk about more things, but I think for this week is enough to, you can go there because there's a lot of challenges in these stages, you know? Mm -hmm. And you can see they're all being created basically, okay? And at the end, there would be error collect. If there's some error or something doesn't work, it actually collects them. And then you can actually go ahead and say which one doesn't work. Okay. And then just work on that, not not just rerunning from scratch. Okay, so does it make sense? Uh, and basically, yeah. Uh, you know, let's uh, say that if an error occurs, 
it doesn't just stop the process and just no, go it just down. goes it just all on and off. Okay, good. So the cool, the cool thing is, you know, here I, I collect, you know, error collect. If you double click on it, you have error collect, and it brings every single um, things that happened. You know, mm -hmm. if there was an error, it will tell you, but there's nothing here, you know, mm -hmm. to tell you. Yeah. Make sense? Yes. Well, I, I guess that's enough for today. So to review, so you 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 can you you start from here the M files, okay? Download them everything, add them to the path, to the path that you like. For instance, I put them here in the codes and MATLAB, and add the path, set the path here, add with the subfolder. So these are some basic things that you you need to do for any any other, and then starts with um, with. Where is it? Something like this, like uh, basically, first of all, get the trials, okay? Whatever trial is there, okay? Then now that you have trials, basically add the path, the path of the code, then the destination, the one before, and do you remember the CTD files? Uh, you only need to add CTD file format here, yeah. all this feature for that particular person, and that's it. You just leave it and it will take you ages, but it will keep keep writing here. Okay. Make sense? Yes, totally. Thanks. And just please uh, send me the run all file. Say it again. Uh, just send me the run all M5. Oh, I, I, you, you actually have it. It's basically, this is just something that I created later on, but you already have it here. I think it's part of C3D. Let me show you here. One of these things are similar idea, but I can send you the CDD to open same. You see, this is the idea. So basically, yeah, you see, it's, I'm, I'm explaining everything here. So yeah, run open sim, you see. Uh, but let, I, I can send you that one as well, but this is just one by one. Yeah, this is what I've done it one by one, but you can have a for loop for this. You already have it, but I, I, yeah, just remind me, I'll send you that one as well, okay? Okay, thanks. All good? Yeah, thank you very much. No worries. Um, so have a go and start bringing all the TRC mat motion file and stuff. It will take you some time, but if you get the hang of it, you are basically bringing everything to OpenSIM, and then you can you can even open them. You know, just yeah. make sure after that if you want to change check them, just bring bring up. Um, <laughs> you 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 know that. So let me show you this part, and then we'll we'll call it a day. So you remember we have TRC file here. And then open sim is opening. Uh, takes time. Okay, it's opening, right? Then what you can do, you can actually just bring the open sim like drag and drop. Hopefully, doesn't work because of. Yeah, I think you need to bring it as preview experimental. Then you bring um, this one, this one, this. Where, where are you? Yes, I'm is here. Here, here, here. And then this one, okay? So when you run that, you'll see, I just want to make sure that something is working. You know, there's sometimes there's a, there's a problem here, which is, which is fine. You can figure it out, you see? You see that? So it, this used to be very difficult, but now it's, you can see it's very easy, right? You can even bring the preview, uh, the other one, what's it called? Like a GRF. Have you tried this before? No. The GRF, because it take, uh, it's, a, it's a long, lar large file, so it takes time. But it will be fine. Yeah, here it is, you see? You can even synchronize them. Yes. Yeah, all right, synchronize like that, you know, like this and this, right click and synchronize. Anyway, mm -hmm. so all good. Hopefully yeah. this will be useful. Let me just stop this sharing for now. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. No worries.